Good afternoon, everyone. Liani. So really quick, I'm just going to bring this message. Um, the Lord said, when people give anger, respond in love. And I was asking him, well, it's easier said than done. And he, what he was showing me what I saw in the spirit was that he said, because people are wounded. So sometimes when people say stuff or when they do stuff, they're responding out of their hurt, out of their rejection, out of their disappointment. Um, not that you necessarily did anything. And maybe it was something that somebody did. But for the most part, it comes from things that were unresolved that just left like a residue so it's a wound and it hasn't healed and every time something happens or something similar people use the word trigger it sets off those emotions as if it happened all over again he said to respond in love because they're wounded and then I thought about how God forgives us when we do things. He forgave us and he loved us even while we were yet sinners. He sent his son to die for us even while we were yet sinners. So he knew that we were all born into this sin. He knew that we all had things and issues and the list goes on and on and on. He knew we were wounded, yet he still had patience with us. He still had peace with us. He still sympathized and understood what we were going through because he walked this earth. So he knows everything that we went through. To know that our creator came down and was with us and the fact that he gives us so much time. He, he's so patient with us. He's not slow in doing what he said. He's making sure everyone's hearts and lives are changed. Um, that's biblical. And just to know that he has that patience with us why not be gracious and kind and merciful as he is with us to do that and extend that to others we don't know other stories sometimes when people react it's not because of what we did it may have been something that happened prior to them encountering us it may have been something that happened years ago months ago weeks ago it could have been a minute ago but nonetheless he wants us to have patience and to respond in love. I myself uh, am working on that with people too because sometimes I get frustrated. I'm like, Lord, these people in this earth, like they just rush. They, you know, they're rude, they're obnoxious. Like what is going on in the earth that people are just like they're losing their minds and nobody has any decency. And he was like, respond in love. They're wounded. And when he said they're wounded, it changed my perspective and hopefully... It by the grace of God and our Lord Savior Jesus Christ, it changed your perspective and your outlook on when you encounter people, especially when you know you didn't do anything, that when they are funny acting towards you or if they're rude or obnoxious or whatever it is, these people for one, maybe they lost someone in their life um, and they never just, you know, really recovered and healed. It could be a host of things, but let us grace them the way God graces us. And that doesn't mean just put up with everything any and everybody does and be abused by people and just keep them in your lives. That's not what that means. But if you encounter someone, you know, and maybe it's someone you don't know and they, you know, come off or rub you the wrong way, that may be their personality or maybe not. Maybe it's because they're wounded. Just keep that in your mind. They're wounded and show the love of Christ so that they can see Christ ambassadors on this earth because a lot of people claim the name of Jesus Christ but he said many will say to me Lord Lord and I will say get away from me you work you workers of iniquity I never knew you so we don't want to be those people let's try as best as we can to practice what we say we are who we are who we belong to let it show and not just in talking but in our actions so I hope that this blesses you all this is Leon have a great day guys